buddy. You hungry? What's going on adventurers? We are back at Discovery Cove. Look at this beautiful guy here hanging out. What a beautiful bird you are. We're currently in the aviary and it's been a little while since we've hung out in the aviary with these guys. I'm not even sure what kind of bird this is, but my goodness, you're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Yes, you are, and you know it. Look at that, he's rocking his red mohawk there. I'm so happy to be able to hang out with this guy today. You're so friendly, I love you. I think you're amazing. Yeah. I do, I love your hair. You really got a nice... Oh. Wow, even butterflies flying around in here, guys. The theming here is amazing. You truly feel like you just landed smack dab in the middle of a tropical oasis. That is exactly how I feel every time we come. Look at that. All right, so we are currently headed into the aviary to go check out some of our feathered friends back here at Discovery Cove. Lisa is leading the way in her trailblazing Buena Vista rental. So the aviary is fully accessible by land. And this is also the handicap ramp into the water. We're gonna head right back here into this cave. So look guys, they even have an accessible hand wash station or you know what, it's perfect size for kids as well. It's really suitable for anybody. So you can wash your hands. I just sanitized, so I'm good also. I'm gonna go ahead, Elisa, and open the door. There are several doors in here, and the reason for that is so our feathered friends do not escape from their aviary. Oh my God, oh, I'm scary. You've got this. I'm scary. Look how beautiful this aviary is, guys. I knew they had a kookaburra here at Discovery Cove. He's just chilling up there. They do not allow people to feed him because of what they eat. They eat mice, so there he is though. What's up, buddy? Do you want some? Come on. Look at you, aren't you smart? You're just gonna hang out right there and, and eat it right out of the bowl, aren't you? That's genius. <laughs> you got one, good job. You want one? Are you gonna come down here and hang out with me though? Come on. Wow, all right, okay. You don't have to land on me if you don't want to. That's cool, we're good. Oh wow, What? you guys are beautiful. Look how pretty they are. Got another one stalking me up here. Look at these guys, come on bud, you want some? Come on, you wanna land on me? Come on, come on. I'm getting the sideways eye like Simon gives me. All right, so let's see if anybody wants to actually land on me. Has anybody landed on you yet? Well, I saw one on a girl's head. That way on the tree there. Yeah, they're not landing on me. Landed on my head. So we're gonna get ready and head down here into the beautiful Lazy River in just a little bit. I love how the Lazy River cuts through the aviary. I think that's such an awesome feature. Something that you don't see very often. Matter of fact, I've never seen it anywhere else but here. I love how high the, the netting is too, so they can they can fly. You know, it's like a free flight aviary. And I think that's so great. Let's see if we can find another one. There, you know what, it goes through here. Let's go in here. No, they're hungry. Here we go. Into another cave for Lisa. It's her favorite thing in the world. Here she comes. Oh, here she comes. Lisa's feeding one of these beautiful. I'm guessing they're giant doves. They look like doves. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, he doesn't want it. Oh, he wanted that. He knew what he wanted. Oh, he knows what he wants. Beautiful McCall. Stuck the landing perfectly. That was awesome. Oh, 
Like, how cool is that? He's gonna go back now. Whenever he feels like it. <laughs> He's getting ready. Oh. He said, I just gotta drop a bomb first. There he goes. Oh, wow. Look at that flake. Beautiful. So, Lisa's, one of her favorite birds here, guys, is the sun conure. So, she's going to get ready and try to feed one. Oh, he's going over to his ball. They look like babies. Hey, baby. They just stay pretty small. Who wants some? Who wants some? Oh, he's going to here, let me see it, and I'll give it to you. Come on. Come on. They're coming. They're All right. Coming. Come on. There we go. Come on. Oh, my goodness. You are so pretty. So, so beautiful. You don't have that rock star hair going on. But still, your colors are so brilliant. Oh my goodness, there's a... What is that? There's a turkey. Is it a turkey? No, it's not really. Do you want to feed is him? It? Come here. Jen has it. Well, it's not really a turkey, but it looks like a turkey. It's her favorite. It looks like a turkey. It does look like a turkey. It's totally related to a turkey. Yeah. Beautiful. He's got the mohawk too. I don't know I what know. it is with the mohawk today. <laughs> but he's got the mohawk going on too. Oh look, he's fluffing it up for you. Nice. He's like, yeah, you like my hawk? You like it? You I like love it. You want some more? More of it. Maybe he's a turkey hawk. <laughs> we'll call him turkey hawk. Talk, because he looks like a turkey, but he's rocking the hawk. He's definitely hungry. Look at his feet. Hey, what are you doing? You throwing all those fruits away? See those nails, though, on his feet? Oh, I my see. goodness. What if he gets mad and just starts pecking mm. my hand? I don't think so. I, don't <laughs> I really want to touch the hawk. Mm, I don't know. Pretty big beak on that one. Let me see him. Oh. Nope. I'm touching him. <gasps> oh, touch him. Did okay. you get him? All right, so we are currently exiting the aviary, guys. That was exciting, wasn't it, Lise? It was. That was so much fun. It's always very nice to go in the aviary and hang out. I would highly recommend checking out the aviary earlier in the day because as time goes on, more and more people feed the birds. So just a little tip, if you want them to eat out of your cups, you might want to go earlier in the day. Just a thought. At least what do you got there? Look at this plethora <laughs> of dining pleasure. So look who we got here. We got Omar with us. We got Tiff here and the family. The whole family's here. Boston's here, Max, Malia, Ethan. And so I was trying to go keto. This plate's keto. I, I accomplished keto on one plate. And then I had to go and do this. So <laughs> and I don't know what this is. This is the first time I've ever seen coleslaw with blueberries in it. But I'm going to try it. It looks pretty good. I got some watermelon too. I didn't I didn't get the cake. Got the watermelon. So we got this for you. Lisa got the cake. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, here comes Lisa. Are you ready for a fun day? I love that they have hand sanitizer everywhere. I think it's so <laughs> Lisa, I don't think that's hand sanitizer. <laughs> It's sunscreen. Oh no. SPF 30. I mean, that's convenient. But it looks like a hand sanitizer. <laughs> now she's got lotion all over her hands. Oh, we're going to have a sunburn today. I think I probably that's should get some funny. too. I'm going to go to the bathroom and I'll be sure to use hand sanitizer first and then the sunscreen. Like, laughing at me. That's so funny. <laughs> well, it looks like you're all ready to go in the water. Yeah. She's got her. I think it's. Um, Marine life safe is why it's white. Yeah. All right, guys, we are making our way into the lazy river. This is so much fun. I love the waterfalls here. How do we go into the waterfall? So, to swim? Yeah, to go into the waterfall, you gotta go over here. Go Let's through there. Go around. Let's go around. Go to Let's that. Do it. Are you ready to go into the water? So, guys, other than the 
keto-friendly pasta that Patrice got for Lisa, this is the only noodle she's allowed to have. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, that definitely looks like a Corona-safe mask. Uh, I would say. <laughs> I think so. This is a water-safe, Corona-safe, super mask. <laughs> Into the waterfall we go. These guys are so cool. Are there some in there right now? They're called skimmers. But if you get too close to their pots, they will literally like fly right at you. Like those are there? Yes. <laughs> but see, they're in these pots. Got your piggy toe. Let me see. I want to see it fly at you. <laughs> I can't see if there's one in there. I don't know. I know, but usually they're in these pots too. So I'm kind of swimming in place because I'm swimming with one arm. <laughs> like swimming in place. Definitely a little bit more crowded here than usual. Probably because it's such a nice day. Do you think they, um, because I know they limit so many people, it's like a thousand people or something. Yeah. Do they increase that? I don't know if they increased it. I know Disney just recently increased theirs to 50% capacity. 50%? In the past week, yeah. That's still busy. It's huh? pretty busy, yeah. There goes Lisa. She's swimming to the waterfall. Austin, he's swimming into the oh, waterfall. Yeah. This is one of my favorite spots because I love the trees back here. I don't know. I know they're not real, but they look really cool. There goes Lisa. She's in stop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. Whenever I'm filming, I'm just trying to find a place to stick my camera. And I don't know. It looked like that little hole at least no, invested. I can look underwater. Here she comes. What did you think about that? What was that? A rock? <laughs> no. uh, I was trying to find a tripod for my camera. Oh. It fit perfectly in your vest. Oh, okay. I'm turtling currently. Just floating down the lazy river with my life vest on. I'm probably gonna take it off to get into the salt water. I like to be able to, to really swim in there. It's relaxing for sure in the lazy river. Watch for ducks. They have Discovery Cove ducks here. I think they're probably cousins to the Disney ducks. Are they here? They usually hang out right here on this wall. And we're back guys, we're back to the, the cave. So we're gonna get out now. I'm not sure if we're gonna head into the Grand Reef or into the freshwater oasis next, but we're headed into something exciting. Always be sure to bring a backpack with you because a lot of times throughout the day you'll grab a snack like, I don't know, potato chips or whatever, and you don't have room to eat it. I have another tip too. Take it with you. <laughs> don't smoke in bed. <laughs> it's too much, guys. So we're having an awesome day here. The weather could not be more perfect. It is absolutely beautiful here today. Honestly, could not have picked a better day. They were calling for rain around one o'clock. Currently, it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. What time is it? It's like it's like is it really? This could change really quick though. Yeah, it's Florida. So thunderstorms legit come from out of nowhere sometimes, but the awesome thing is they're gone as quick as they come. Any day could be a perfect day in Florida. Just keep that in mind. Check it out, guys. This is the freshwater oasis. We are finally going in. It feels so good in here, guys. It must be like, what, 90 degrees, Tiff? Yeah. <laughs> it's well, crazy. the water probably feels like, what, 80? So nice. We're creeping up on the marmosets now. Lisa said they were feeding them a minute ago. So let's go see what's happening over here. Okay. Look how cute, guys. This is awesome. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this used to be the reef. 
That's why it's cut out. They have a sunken ship. Here. Yeah. Oh, this was a reef. Well, this used to be the reef when they first yeah, opened here. When Discovery Cove first opened, this was the original coral reef. There was actually a sunken ship here. And Omar just reminded us that they used to actually have a separate area for the rays, which is 100% true. The new Grand Reef is so much better. I just like yeah, the setup a lot better. There's a lot more places to get in and out. The problem with this area, you could not get in and out very easily. No. There is not a waterfall that Lisa won't bathe <laughs> under. She's all about those waterfalls. Oh, that's Don't a... go chasing waterfalls. So Omar pointed out that this is the accessible ramp, which as you can tell, Lisa doesn't have her scooter in the water, obviously. No. But it's still a lot easier if you're mobility impaired to make it out this way because of the railings. And I love how they look like they are natural. <laughs> I think that's so cool. So you can actually push a wheelchair though all the way to that point so that people can get into the water more easily. Really cool. And there's plenty of room here also to maneuver. Like if you wanted to help them out here and then they could just swim from this point because it's about, it's a little higher than knee deep here. So that's perfect. Okay, Boston, I just want to let you know this is not an amphibious vehicle. Yeah, she's let them drive? <laughs> oh no, Lee. I want to know how good an idea that is. I got it. Yeah, I heard that before. Right before we smashed into a concrete. Oh, oh when you smashed your face? <laughs> yeah, when I smashed my face. We are currently on our way to the Grand Reef, guys. This is my favorite part of Discovery Cove. Like, I don't know, it's hard to choose a favorite part because all of it's so awesome. But you're gonna see why. If you guys haven't seen any of our previous videos about Discovery Cove, and they have so many amazing tropical fish rays. They even have this thing called a guitar fish, which looks like a cross between a shark and a ray. It's pretty awesome. My very favorite animal in the entire reef has got to be the spotted eagle ray. And you can tell the spotted eagle ray because number one, of course, it has spots. <laughs> number two, it has a dolphin type nose. It's like a bottle nose. So cool. And we're getting ready to go check them out in just a couple minutes. Just got here to the coral reef. Let's do it. Ready? We're going in, guys. Oh, careful. Okay. <laughs> Are you going in or going down? Maybe. <laughs> Couldn't see where you're going with that. I can't see. Okay, so the problem is I can't see without my glasses, but I can see because of this thing. Oh, okay. But it kind of like obstructs your view like straight down. So. You see it? Almost tripped and fell. Oh, look, look, look. <laughs> What's the matter, Boston? I'm scared now. All yeah. of a sudden. <laughs> It, dro it drops off right there, see it? Yeah. You got this. Alright, we're good. That's such a big fish. Seal of approval. That's such a big fish. Seal of coral. the coral. The giant stingray just went by a boss and like... This is all salt water. Alright. It's really cool, but it feels good. So it actually really does because your feet were just on fire. It's like super refreshing in here. Like normally this is freezing cold, but right now it feels awesome. Gorgeous. They're my favorite. It hit my knees. Did it really? Spotted eagle rays down that way. The ray almost got Omar twice now. Dude, that was so funny.
the end of the day and you still haven't had enough of the water, you can always do this. That water is so warm. Lisa's turn. Oh. There will be sand. I will tell you. <laughs> oh yeah. There's our last look at the beautiful Lazy River, guys. There it is. Until we meet again, Lazy River. Giving us a proper send off with the tiki torches and the thatched roof bridge. It's pretty cool. So I have been hearing rumors here and there that they are gonna actually offer an annual pass option, which would be an amazing option for us, especially if they allow you to pay monthly uh, for Florida residents. But I don't know, what do you think? Don't you think it would be a good option for us, the it annual would. pass? It really would. We love you guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on our next Raptor Adventure.